What would cause a pool filter to crack? You might be surprised to see that your pool filter is cracked and leaking, but it's not all that uncommon. Um, first of all, like a filter is a pressure vessel. It deals with a lot of pressure. And so that's something that over time can just manifest eventually in a crack. If you had a crack in the seam where you can see there's a manufacturing seam and the filter is split along that seam, I would encourage you to research and perhaps contact the manufacturer to see if this is a known deficiency. There have been runs of filters which have had problems with the seams. So it is worthwhile looking into that if you do have a crack along the seam. It could just be from a manufacturing defect. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to say is it could be from freezing. You know, if you are just opening your pool for the spring season after a long cold winter and hey, it looks like the filter is cracked, did you remember to drain your filter? Because if you don't drain your filter and that water freezes, almost certainly it's going to crack your filter. Uh, the filter can certainly absorb a lot of forces, but the force of freezing water is pretty damaging and it's pretty hard to, to you know, for any equipment to deal with something like that. So it wouldn't be a surprise at all if your filter cracked because you forgot to drain it. Uh, the next thing could be just the pressure is too high. So the operating range for a pool filter is 0 to 30 PSI. If you read the instruction manual, there's probably a warning in there somewhere about not operating the equipment above 30 PSI, and then probably a very bold warning to never exceed 50 PSI. That's kind of like, you know, imminent failure range for a pool filter, and definitely something that you wouldn't want to be around if it blows at 50 PSI. So could that have happened to you? Well, it's pretty common for the pressure gauge on pool filters to fail. They're pretty cheap and they fail readily. And a lot of pool owners kind of just get tired of replacing them and eventually just operate the filter without any gauge at all. So what if you did that, but you experienced a problem with the filter, like maybe the sand solidified inside of your filter due to poor water chemistry, and now the pressure is way higher than it's supposed to be. Would you notice? Not necessarily. So that could be the cause of a crack in your filter. And then the last thing could just be wear and tear. If you don't deal with pool filters a lot, you might not realize this, but if you had your hand resting on the filter tank when you turn your pump on, you can feel the entire tank swell. It's not something that's visibly noticeable really unless you're looking for it, but it's a tad bit alarming when you realize just how much that filter tank swells because they're a pretty robust material. Like you can hit one with a sledgehammer and probably just the sledgehammer bounces off. So to see that physically swell in size gives you a little bit of an appreciation as to just what a pressure vessel does and how dangerous it can potentially be. Filters don't crack all that often, but it does happen sometimes. And once it's cracked, there is no repair for that. You need a new filter. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.